I know it's here somewhere. Finally, finally. Oh, it's time for the duck. You're listening to Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. Ah, take it away, doctor. Well, it's that time again, and the doctor is in. It's time once again for Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. And on the show today, we have some stuff for you as usual. I always like sharing stuff with you guys. And uh, by the way, welcome to my studio. Uh, you are here amongst all of the mess from every angle. I mean, it's a working office. You know, it's not just for show. I actually do stuff here. So there's that. At any rate. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. We're also proud members of the International Association of Internet Broadcasters. Yes, I've got my BattleBot shirt on here. This is a Christmas present from my lovely wife. And uh, she knows that I'm a huge fan of BattleBots. The BattleBot Season 7 has started so if you're not watching BattleBots on Discovery at Thursday night, 8 o'clock, what's up with you? <laughs> it's my favorite sport. At any rate, uh, I wanted to share with you all the things that are happening of late. One of the things that's happening is that local BT, local BHT, that's it, local BHT uh, has added Charlotte and Raleigh to their service areas. And they've also added non-area specific channels to their lineup. So even if you're not in an area that is currently supported by local BHT, you can still get programming. Eh, okay programming <laughs> off of <laughs> their their service, okay? They have a Roku version. They have a Fire TV version. They have a Through the Web version, much like my own network of SpeakFaith.tv, where I have a, a browser version and a Fire TV and a Roku version. They do, too, with their programming. Uh, they have very different programming, though. If you're in a city that's supported, like Charlotte and Raleigh and others, uh, you can get the local TV stations for your area through the local BHT app. Cool. Now, I'm going to go to that channel or website, whatever you want to call it, local BHT, just to, because I want to make sure that I'm saying the right thing. And apparently I'm not. <laughs> local BTV. See, I knew H didn't sound right. There in the back of my mind, there was something going, that's not correct. And I don't want to give you bad information. Local BTV. I'm thinking it stands for Broadcast TV. How about that? That's just a guess. But it's probably a pretty good guess. <laughs> local Broadcast TV. So if you go to localbtv.com, um, you will find that it comes up and says, hey, you can sign in. It's a free account. Can't beat free. You sign into this account, and you get local channels that are in your area. Now, you have to be in the broadcast area for those channels for them to do it. Now, you may notice that this is a whole lot like Lowcast that went the way of the dodo bird. <laughs> okay. They went out of business because they were claiming to be a nonprofit, yet they were making millions of dollars on their service, even though it was non supposedly nonprofit. I don't know why. Maybe they had a little incentive, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, but the difference between local BTV. TV, I keep training myself to get it right, uh, 
is that they have actually made agreements with each local area. And they don't go into an area until they make those legitimate agreements, okay? So it is fully and completely legal and above board. And they give you a cloud DVR in their service, built into the service, nothing extra, that you can record up to a terabyte of programming off of their service. So let's say that you were in a supported area like Charlotte or Raleigh, and you were recording, I don't know, the local CW station, and you're recording the Flash TV show, you could record it, and you'd have it available in your local BTV app, okay? Whether it's on Roku or Fire TV or through your web connection. Like your phone. Let's say you're using your phone to watch it. You could do that. Or you could broadcast it up on your TV. Whatever. It's very handy. So I just wanted to share that with you, that they're expanding. They're now in, I think they said, 40 different areas. Uh, 48 different areas. Uh, and they're expanding all the time. As a matter of fact, when I logged in, they told me, we're not in High Point yet, but give us time. I think they're probably going to do Greensboro, High Point, Winston as one thing, because typically we're identified as that one area. So I suspect they'll be available soon. And they will have the ability to watch local television, broadcast television, BTV, through <laughs> this service, which is a free service. I like that in a service. Sounds good. Okay. I shared that with you. That was one of the items on my agenda. I have an agenda. Uh, the other was to share with you that I finally trimmed my beard. It was way down to here. It would have been covering my BattleBots logo. Don't want to do that. Anyway. So, um, the other thing I wanted to show you is you might call it the Geek Software of the Week. Yeah, there's the drum roll. Geek Software of the Week because uh, this is software that I found this week for a specific need that I had. And that's what I do. I share with you, my friends, the cool things that I find available for free on the internet. It's open source. It's free. You don't pay nothing for this. So, I mean, what better thing is that than to not pay nothing? So enjoy it. It's only about a little over four minutes. Trust you like it. See you in just a second. Okay, today I wanted to show you uh, some software that I found that I think you're really going to like. And I've got my desktop up here so we can take a look at it. Uh, let's go over here and I'm going to highlight the program here that I have on my desktop called Lossless Cut. Lossless Cut. We're going to open that up. And uh, you'll see it's a fairly simple program. As a matter of fact, this program has two modes. One is the uh, non-advanced mode, I guess you'd call it, or the simple mode, maybe. Uh, and then they can toggle in the advanced mode. And the advanced mode just gives you additional features here. Uh, this is an open source project called Lossless Cut. And uh, we're going to take a look at what you can do with it. Uh, I'm going to open up a video here. And uh, I'm just going to pick one that I recorded earlier of myself. <laughs> but uh, we'll just use this as an example. It's only uh, it's a short little video. But let's say that I wanted to cut a part of this video out. Maybe I want to start it at a different point. Uh, let's say we wanted to start right there. I could come here and you know jump back and forth to segments. I could come here and start the segment at the current time. Click that, and notice how it eliminates that part of the video. Now, if I want to start it, you can see it starts the video right there. Okay? Now, you might say, well, Dr. Bill, this is just an editor. <laughs> well, it is in one sense, but it is a lossless editor. What does that mean? That means that this thing will trim a video 
without re-rendering it. Now the reason this is a benefit is there are a lot of times that if you re-render a video uh, you will create problems within that video. The audio may get off track. There may be syncing issues. That's what I've seen more than anything else. This allows you to then export the video and you can do a little manipulation here but I'm going to keep it just as it is. Click export. It says the export is done. Now we're going to close this out and go back to our video directory and you'll notice, let me pull this over here, you notice we have a new file showing that it started at a different position and ends, in this case we didn't trim the end, so it ends in that um, same position. We start playing it and it picks up where we did the edit, okay? Now, <clears throat> again, this may seem fairly trivial, but if you are working with video and you're trying to just cut off the first few minutes, let me give you a real-world example of this. A real-world example would be, in my case, uh, I'm pulling down a live church service that's been uh, played to Facebook, and they put in this, you know, counting down so many minutes until the service starts. Uh, and when I want to post that to YouTube, I need to cut off all of that waiting, one minute, two minutes, whatever, preliminary stuff that is in that first live uh, recording. So this allows me to cut it off without introducing any artifacting uh, or any issues with syncing. So if you're looking for a tool like this, you're going to go, wow, where has this been? <laughs> but if you're not, you're just going to scratch your head and go, okay, I, whatever. <laughs> But this is a great tool, and I really think it's a great find. It was for me, and uh, I trust you find it is useful for your, you as well. But I just wanted to introduce this to you and let you know that Lossless Cut is available. Okay, what did you think of that? I think it's a really useful program, but then I have a need for it. Maybe you don't, I don't know. But if you do, I got your back. Okay. We're out of time. Gonna have to go. But I tell you what, remember that the doctor is out of here. Dr. Bill, the computer promotion is a production of drbillbailey.net with all the honors, rights, and privileges thereunto appertaining. If you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ding the bell to be notified of future videos.